Hey, hi. In this video, let's talk about row number in the SQL Server. Yeah, please subscribe to my channel for more technology videos. Yeah. So first of all, what is a row number and what are all the prerequisites we need it to work with a row number? So row number is the one which will is a function which will help us to get the continuous ranking to the records. So without skipping any number in the result set whether it is partitioned or not means it will give you it will help you to assign a continuous number to the each and every row in the result set so before going to talk about a row number example so we need to know some basic stuff so what are all the others we need to know what are all the prerequisites to work with a row number the first one is order by second one is partition by so in the order by class so this class See here, the row number we are going to call it as a function, order by and partition by we are going to call it as a classes. Means easily to identify, function is going to end uh, open and end with a parenthesis, but order by and partition by is not going to end with parenthesis. Okay, means that's the reason why we are going to call order by and partition by is a classes. Now let's come to the order by class. So this class is going to decide how the ranking is going to work, how the ranking is going to start. For example, you have a data with a employee data with a department ID. So when you say order by department ID means it is going to give you the ranking in the uh, department wise either in ascending order or descending order. Let us say when you say it is a, a descending order. So it is going to start from the department ID department number n to one. Like if it is a ascending order department is going to start from one to n means for each and every row so you are going to give a, a ranking or a row number so based on the order by department number is ascending or descending next so here to generate a row, num a row number a partition is not mandatory but order by is mandatory so when we use a partition so what is happening so this partition class is going to provide grouping the functionality based on the particular column let us say so when you drew when you partition based on the department number so here the ranking is going to happen for this particular department first then the it, it goes to the second department so if you if you don't if you're not satisfying a partition by class then ranking is going to work only on the order by class so let me show you how to work with a row number practically in the sql server so before going to talk about that, let me show you the data which I have in my uh, system. So I have a employee table. So which are of having six columns, ID employee, employee name, gender, salary, joining date and department number. If you see, I have around six columns and nine rows. So which are of a result like this. I have a gender of male records as well as female records and department numbers are 10, 20, 30 and 40. Now, how to apply a row number in the top of the employee table. So first, let me write a query. So on the top of the employee table with order by class. So without partition by. So let me write select. So row number, row underscore number. As I mentioned, it's a function you need to specify with the open and closed uh, parenthesis over of order by order by. I need to specify the column name either whatever the column you want I want to use department number department number so either descending or ascending close so I'm going to give a, a number as a, a row ID or something like that row ID comma remaining columns I can use as that is employee ID comma EMB name comma uh, gender comma so salary comma some uh, joining date whatever the columns I want yeah, employee name, gender, salary. Yeah, so join, joining a date, comma, department number from EMP. Yeah. So let me see this ID employee, employee name. Yeah. So all our uh, red symbols are gone because I specify a table name. So if you see this, so this is the. Let me run the basic query on the top of it. This is the data I'm going to get if you see here. So there is no order on the department number. I'm getting it's a basic raw data. So I'm going to apply a row number on the top of the employee table. So by applying only order by class on the top of the department number, which are of descending order. So here I'll be getting 
So one extra column row ID in the result. Let me run this query. If I run this query, if you see this, so row ID, it has been continuously provided to the result 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. But if you see the ID employee is not in the perfect order because so we have ordered on this uh, particular order on the top of the department ID, department number, I mean. So here, so we specify department number as descending order. So that's the reason why we got first uh, 40, next 30, next 20 and all are tens. So the ranking has been provided to my result based on the department number order. If you see that department number is ordered and I got the rank 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like that. So later in, in, in your uh, result set, we can use that, how to use and we can decide that. How and all. So this is how we generate the rank number in the, this is how we generate a rank number with order by class. So now let me show you how to apply a partition. Just please keep in mind how the rank is in this. So if you see my rank is in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the sequential, in the incremental order. So there is no skip. It is continuously ordered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 9. So let me apply a partition class. So let me keep the query as it is. Let me write a separate query with partition. So let me write um, from uh, EMP first. Okay. So that uh, uh, I'll get the column names uh, with the intelligence row underscore number comma over over so over partition by partition by so on what uh, on what basis you want to partition so let me put a uh, department number for time being let me change later and order by department number so either ascending or descending i don't mind for it next id emp comma emp name comma gender comma salary comma joining uh, date uh, comma department number from employee table yeah, if you see that yeah so here i am going to partition based on the department number only again i'm on the top of, i'm going to partition means i'm going to order based on the department number only but so if i go over like this so here i may not be getting a correct results so here i am i'm i'm just thinking to partition based on the i'm going to partition based on the gender okay so let me see let me run my query if i run this query if you see this so here my partition going to happen on the gender and i am going to order the data based on the department number descending order if you see here first first so the partition is going to happen on the gender so if you see all the first uh, female records we got okay and the rank has been provided based on the partition along with a department number if you see this now you need to observe very closely here. So partition happened on the gender first. Then the result is ordered on the top of the department number. If you see the department number, number is ordered descending 20 and 10. And all the female records we got. And the rank has been provided first to this. First let me make as a row ID for this. So that I uh, will get some. Let me run this again. So if you see the row ID of it. The first department number is uh, 20. And the partition happened on the gender and the department number is ordered uh, descending. If you see this, row ID is 1234. Next, second partition is happened on the male. So if you see, and again, the department number is descending order. So if you observe very closely, first the partition applied on the gender, then department uh, and the result is sorted on the top of the department number. So if you see the row number of it, again, it started from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like that. So because of the partition, so the row number is going to start freshly for each and every partition. Now, so here I have a partition on the top of the gender. Let us assume it if I have a department number, uh, partition based on the department number. So that time I'm going to get the rank based on the department number. So let me type here department number so that. Okay, so here the department number partition based on the department number and the sorting is also based on the department number. If you observe very closely here. Let me run my query. Yeah, if you see here, first uh, department number is this. All 10 we got it first. So then we got like this here, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then the second department came here. So 10, 
20 then the rank is only one because i have only one 20 department yeah two 20 departments here so that is the reason why i have one two rankings next one is uh, 30 so if you see that so one two then i am going to get uh, uh, one two ranks if you see the result i have only one 40 department so i have only one rank here means so based on the partition based on the partition you are going to get the rank here so here i have four partitions so that is the reason why four times the rank has been started from one so if you have only one partition then obviously yes the rank is going to be uh, increasingly one two three like that so if there is no partition then there is no uh, like um, uh, skipping and all you will be getting every time starting with one if you see this there is no no starting with one every time it is increasing like once it is started with one it is going on increasing because there is no partition it is only order by so in this scenario you have a partition as well so that is the reason why you are getting the rank is depending on the partition class means the rank so whenever you get a second partition so the rank is going to start from one it's starting from the initial number and it is based on the order by clause as well so here so the first 10 so we got for all the first four records we got uh, one two three four second 20 we got one two and second uh, next 30 we got one two next is 40 we got one so this is how we work with a row number so so there are there is other way to generate a, a ranking function in the sql server so the rank dense rank n tile so those also will help you to generate a rank number to each and every row in the sql server so this is a one way of generating a rank number with the help of the row number so so in the next video we'll talk about how to use a rank how to use a rank and uh, dense rank and n tile so in the next video i'll talk about either rank dense rank and n tile so uh, keep watching that's it please subscribe to my videos for more technological msbi sql up to date real time videos so thank you for watching that's it